when we were dispatched for a uh, structure fire here, crews arrived on scene. They had heavy smoke showing from the front of the house. Uh, crews went inside and they found fire in a in the front room of that house. Um, right now, the fire is under control and it will be investigated uh, here in the near future. Um, as this team progresses. Uh, we did have one victim. They were already out of the, the uh, house. Um, they were tended to and they are being transported to a local hospital uh, currently. So total we just have one right now? One victim total, that's correct. Okay, I just want to make sure I clarify that we have yep. two already, but which one? Is. Correct, we have one victim at this time. Okay, um, anything else you can tell us at this moment uh, in regards to this incident? Uh, it's still an active incident, obviously, as you see going on. Uh, we're making sure that there's we're searching for extension, uh, doing overhaul and things like that. So we're going to be out here probably the, for the next 35 to uh, 45 minutes uh, for that. And then the investigation will happen after that. Okay. And when you investigate, you try to figure out what happened, like what caused it? Right. Cause of determination is what we're going for. Yes, sir. Okay. Gotcha. What was, do you know, the condition of that victim? Uh, they were, I, I don't. They, I know that they were they were actually being put on the cot as I got here, so I don't know the, the condition of them at this time. We heard word there might have been a second victim. Is that we have not located that second victim at this time. Uh, they have not made themselves known. Um, so uh, if they do, obviously we will take care of them. Is there a potential there was a second person in the home at the time of the fire? That is unknown. There are, there are a lot of people out and about uh, this front area when we got here. It was a pretty chaotic scene with a lot of screaming and yelling. So for figuring out who lives where uh, with the neighbors are very close with each other. So um, we're still trying to sort all that out. Somebody back there had mentioned they saw a baby, a toddler being pulled from this fire. That I have no information on. Okay. Anything else? Not, uh, not this time. I'll, if I can find out if there's smoke alarms or not, I'd like that. But I don't know at this time if the smoke alarms were uh, present or if they went off. Okay. Um, what, was there anything in particular to this fire, you know, like the, the firefighting strategy that had to be employed here? No, it was pretty straightforward as far as firefighting goes. Um, uh, an interior quick quick attack by uh, the crews. Uh, they found the seat of the fire. They knocked it down, and uh, like I said, we're working on um, overhaul right now. So um, this is for fires go pretty run of the mill. You wouldn't consider this a loss of any kind. No, uh, there is definitely fire damage to the front room. Uh, there'll be smoke damage throughout. Uh, we're going to see uh, if Red Cross is needed uh, for victim assistance, and then we'll also have to have utilities cut to this resident uh, until it can be deemed safe. Are the uh, firefighters safe? Is everybody okay? Yeah, everybody's safe. There's no injuries. Everybody's uh, just fine.